Don't Mindy, this thing was going great, but how was I supposed to know this guy was a rabid fan? Oh, Mindy. You both ready? Get back. I just want to talk to my driver. Even if I catch a later flight, it still doesn't give me a whole lot of time, so... So let's get down to business. Here's what I'm proposing. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you need help getting Melinda Lewis designs on track, I'm going to do you a favor. But first, I want to see your portfolio. It's in the car. It's in the car. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, guys, you know, Mr. White spent a great deal of time in the Bronx when he was growing up, so... All right. How about them Yankees? You hungry? Well, when's the last time you had your teeth wrapped around a big old Reuben about this thick? <laughs> Sounds good. The Reuben, it's been a long time. That figures. And when I was growing up, my grandparents used to take me to this restaurant called Reuben's in Midtown Manhattan. The owner claimed he invented the word Reuben. <laughs> it was on 59th and 6th. 58th. Yeah, that's right. How did you know that? She's right, man. This thing is way too strong. They just... You know, yeah. Camp. Jilly, look. Can we try to get through the day without talking about my wife, my son, my daughter, any Excuse of that, Excuse me, please? wait a minute. Your ex-wife. Look. The only reason this is important is because you keep bringing it up. Now, this is a separate issue. It has very little, nothing to do with it. Look, excuse me, this, everything is possible. Oh, man, look. Only knew just how That's wrong okay. you okay. are. Give me this. Well, thank you. For what? I didn't do anything. For stopping by my table after making such a clean break from me. Had a rough time with Blake, didn't we? <laughs> ah, it's just mother-daughter stuff. She'll be fine. What about you? I'm fine. I have an idea. About us. Jenny, hi, it's Vanessa. Look, I'm sorry about the hour, but I need to speak to Billy. It's very important. What? With Nadine? Uh, <clears throat> well, did he say where he was going to go or uh, how long they would be gone? message. Thank you very much. Oh, Billy. I promise you, you're not going to feel like an outsider anymore. I promise you. Come on, baby. Come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. Nadine. Oh, I'll give you essence of Nadine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold on a minute. Just hang on to me, dog. You ain't going nowhere. You're my lady love. business for years. Yeah, it's funny the things you remember. Don't try a hard sell. Just kind of listen to the man. Listen, I know I learned how to close a deal from the best. You don't sit back and wait for them to come to you. No, maybe you should this time. Maybe. No, I am not walking out of this restaurant without a signed contract or at least a handshake agreement. It's binding. Opportunity knocks. Ready? 
Here we go. So, uh, what's on your mind? Oh, I just wanted to touch base. Away from the hospital. Club soda line. Two. Hadn't talked to you in a while. Justin, this is me. What is it? You're not going to tell me I'm working too hard. Not this from you. Oh, no, no, no. Um, actually, yes, you are working a little too hard. But that's, no, that's not why I wanted to talk to you. So why did you ask me here? You're worried about Sam's operation. Not the operation. I'm a little worried about the surgeon. Holly, we've had this discussion before, oh, and I gotta have a relax. meeting with Vanessa. It's about the station. Oh, what about it? You still thinking of selling? Yes, I'm still thinking of selling. Can't take the present arrangement, huh? Well, that's one way to put it. Yeah. What if it changed? I'm thinking of restructuring. You don't want to create some position just to keep me hanging around. Oh, take it easy. I'm looking out for your investment. How will you be doing that? Going back to producing is what I do best. Not that I'm going to stop the day-to-day -day operations. I could use some help. Holly, the thing of it is, I've been neglecting my law practice. You're also neglecting a sizable investment. What if I gave you my office? I don't know. I think that's why. Hmm. Think about it. I will, on one condition. What? Tell me exactly what happened between you and Blake earlier tonight. Thank you. Henry, I need a favor. And it involves Roger. Indirectly. Well, I'll do my best. We're in a transition period at Spalding. I had hoped Philip would step right back into an executive position once he was acquitted. No, but the DA had other ideas. Alan Michael will be assuming more and more responsibilities, but of course he's new and still very young, and the company must appear to be functioning smoothly. And you want me to make some show of support for Roger? On the contrary, I want you to watch him very carefully. Mm. Hello, Alex. Vanessa. Thank you for keeping my father company. Did you speak to Billy? No, I didn't. Not yet. He's out of town. He'll be back soon. boyfriend too. Well, hold I'm holding my luck right here and I never let her go. Okay, just give me a little. Come on, mama wants a seven, another seven. Come on, oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, all right. How do you do that? I don't know, darling. I just. Oh, those are words to live by, lady. Oh, don't you know if I bet your wrist is getting Oh, yeah. But my lips. Yeah. Woo. Let's go spend some of this money. Because, darling, I'm going to give you something that you always want. Where is that stupid receipt, man? It's in your hand. Oh. Hey, hey, come on. You're going to turn that thing into an antique, and we can't afford to rent another one. Look, man. What is this? Look. $2.95 for shot glasses. What they doing? They giving them away? It's not a gas station. Yeah, well, maybe they just use them once and they're shot. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Hampton, I know that Billy Lewis is your best friend, but you just can't be taking on all his problems all the time. Yeah, he's just got me tied up in knots these days, man. Yeah, he ain't the only one. Hey, hey. Nothing, nothing. Look, tell me something. Why is it that we always seem to have more going out than we got coming in? Hey, we're okay. Mm. That sound convincing? Really? You know, it's just the other day I was over at Billy's, man. He told me that all I needed to do to help him was to have a little faith in him, right? Faith. Yeah. Then Josh walks in, there's no faith on his face, man. Well, that's a family that takes care of their own. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. 
Okay, now listen, I got this under control in here, so why don't really? you just take it outside and you make it up with Jillian and apologize to her for being a jerk. But you saw that? Yeah, you were a jerk. I saw everything. You were a jerk. Hey, I just don't like living in the past. Is there something wrong with that? Hampton, it's a two-way street. You gotta give a little. Yeah, okay, Mr. Give a little. Like I am the one to be giving advice. <sighs> okay. Gladys, give me some good numbers. Hey, let me see that famous report card I read about in the newspaper. You did not. I did so. Come on, big old headlines. Didn't your father tell you? Thank you. So that's when I asked Blake if she wanted to move in with me. Mm -hmm. And she said she'd think about it, right? She also said something about you can't go back, whatever that means. Well, she's starting to figure out a few things for herself for a change. Or else she has always done exactly what she wanted to do. I just thought, it's, uh, she's a little desperate. She might be needing me now. <laughs> Maybe she thought you're just going through the motions. That's not fair. Well, sir, could uh, I'm sorry, I'll just check you later, okay? No, Julie, that's all right. I, uh, I have to talk with Vanessa for a minute. Excuse me. Ross. I will think about what you told me. Excuse me. Hey, Mo. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Look, we got the best table in the house set up for you. Uh -huh. Let me know. Um, let me guess. Uh, anniversary? No, no. See, actually, Maureen is, is going to visit her, her brother, Sean, for a couple of days, and I just huh. thought I'd take her out in the town. The only thing is, I can't tell whether it's because he's going to miss me or if this is a celebration for independence. Oh, Dane. <laughs> tell me about it, man. Come on, we're right over here. Thanks. Justin, I'm fine. No, I, just, I just wish you'd come to me, that's all. There was nothing to say. Look, you know, I, I'm sorry. I, I guess I wasn't very subtle when I pushed you and Sam together. Oh, you weren't. And then, then you go out and get an $11,000 wheelchair for She's her. my patient. I wanted what's best for her. Just, just your patient. And my good friend's daughter. Daniel, I know you. I saw what was happening. Was is the operative word. I've got my perspective back now. Oh, okay. Then I was right. I mean, that's why you were so reluctant to operate. I just needed to be sure. Look. Ed and I had a very lengthy conversation, which was not my idea. What did he say? Basically, uh, that an honest answer is more important than the right answer. He's right. Well, I can honestly say that I will operate with objectivity, and I have every confidence that it'll be a success. You're very persuasive. You know, I believe that. If I didn't, I wouldn't operate now. You do know that, right? If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't let you. This is one of my favorites. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, I couldn't sleep. And you just had this craving for baklava? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't expect to see you here. What's going on? Oh, I have this big powwow meeting with Matt White. Oh. Who's Matt Weiss? Matt Weiss. Weiss. Right. It's a long story. Go, go, go ahead. Um, I don't want to keep you. Well, maybe we can talk later. Yeah, I'd like that. Actually, hmm. here's my idea. I'll make you a package deal on all the sketches, and I'll take a percentage of sales for the ones you use. Well, money's not the issue. Mindy is a new designer with almost no track record at all. What's important is, is that we get a name associated with her work. Right. We, we can market the line Melinda Lewis Designs for Emma. They are good, aren't they? Well, you show a lot of promise. Then make me an offer I can't refuse. Oh, what are you two doing here? We tracked you down. Mars oh. Spalding, you don't have any secrets, you know that. Oh, don't listen to him. We <laughs> ran into Mo. Oh. Oh, every time I leave the garage apartment, that woman is, is just on me. I tell you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, no, we just got Hey. Hi, Beth. Um, we're sort of in the middle of something. Oh, uh, well, Alexandra sends her love. Excuse me. All we need is one design with her name. 
We know that they're already good enough to steal, right? Mm -hmm. And you can name more You're very shrewd. Give me a minute alone with you, sorry. What happened? I was just with Alexandra. She knows you're having an affair with a married man. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Oh, if that's the best you can do, uh, Gladys, I'm warning you, because uh, if you don't, there's last chance now, okay? Are you talking to yourself? Actually, it's much worse than that. I'm talking to Gladys, the inanimate object. <laughs> the, uh, the public phone is all taken for ages. I wondered if I could use yours to call the baby. Oh, of course you can. My phone is your phone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Paula. It's me. How's everything going? She is? Well, um, won't you try looking in the pantry or maybe on top of the fridge? Good. Okay, well, you have the number here, don't you? No, no, we're not going to be out too late, so we'll probably see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Castle walls still standing? Well, let's see. They're watching television and Michelle is eating popcorn. How's the pay? Oh, you're looking to change jobs? I'm just exploring the options. We have to see the accountant tomorrow. Ooh, are you okay? Yeah, we're okay. I mean, it's the first year and people are still trying to find us. And... You know, Fletcher, I... I really wanted to thank you. For what? For letting Chelsea go. You already thanked me for that. Besides, what was I gonna do? <laughs> Chelsea happened to be one of the most talented people that I'd ever met. She had no future here. You still see Alexandra? Well, as much as I can of a married woman. Oh. No, uh, uh, what I meant to say <laughs> no, no. was... That's no, okay. no, no, okay. what I meant to say was, I just hate to see her married to that slime of a husband named Roger. She'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah, and then when that happens? Well, look, if you're asking me if I'm still in love with Alex, I never stopped. For whatever that's worth, I do love Alexander. Hey, Dad, look what Patrick gave me. You mean there's still room in there? For chocolate cake? Dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I better get back to my husband. Okay. Congratulations on that report card, Ben. Thanks, Mrs. Bauer. You're welcome. Oh, Maureen. Hmm. How's it holding up about Rick? Well, it's his son. Yeah. All right, buckaroo, give me some of that. Give me all of it. Give me the best parts. Give me the good parts. This part's mine. All hey, of it. Hey, cut it out! Well, that's a good start. All right. Ed. Oh, please don't let me interrupt. I, no, that's okay. I got your request for the uh, OR microscope. Okay, Sam's operation. So what are you having your own instruments designed, then? <laughs> I'm just adapting a few from the new procedure. You have a minute, I'd... Listen, I just have to uh, get back to Sam. I told her I'd be home early, so it was a pleasure talking to you. You too. Uh, I wanted to stop by your office, uh, but I know that your mind's been preoccupied with, with Rick leaving. Well, that shouldn't have you. I mean, I, it's been hard on him, but I know that he's going to be practicing medicine again soon. So, what, uh... I do it. Actually, it's what you've already done. Your advice on on uh, this thing with Sam. I wanted to thank you for doing my job, for being tough. You helped me to get all of this straight in my own mind. Next time, come to me. I mean, I have picked up one or two things just hanging around all these years. You know, that's the deal. I value your opinion, and uh, more than that. I've come to regard you as a friend. Uh, so, I'd like to ask you a little favor. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'd like uh, Dr. Raleigh to scrub with me on Sam's operation. As a professional courtesy. I respect his talent. And uh, I do feel a little responsible for, for Sam pulling him from the case. The technique is new. Oh, so you think he can learn something. <laughs> Uh, maybe both of us can. I like that idea. Good. Uh, it is.
is, uh, it's lousy what's happening to Rick. It was his choice. He, uh, he still has a bright future in medicine, even if he is gone for a while. Why do you say that? He had a good teacher. Sorry. I know I've been here, there, and everywhere tonight. Well, you better be careful. My legal meter is running. So what can I do for you? Well, I wanted to talk with you tonight about Little Billy's trust fund, and then... After speaking with Daddy, I realized that I could really use your advice about Billy. Sure. Go ahead. Well, I've been made acting CEO of Lewis Oil. Congratulations. Uh, it's just while Josh was away. It was his decision and HB's. Mm -hmm. And how did Billy react to all this? Well, he didn't like it very much at all. I mean, after all, they stripped him of his executive power. Yeah, there must have been a good reason for that. Yes, there was. He made a series of very risky investments, and uh, the company suffered a lot. And uh, I'm afraid his judgment hasn't been very good recently. For instance, he even considered using Little Billy's trust fund to get the company back on its feet. Oh, well, no wonder you're concerned. Uh, I could set something up that would protect that fund. Good. I'd like you to do that. But you see, I, I still feel that that Billy can pull himself together. Vanessa, I hope so. Well, uh, I just realized tonight that I still believe in him. I do, and I know he needs someone to feel that way about him. Look, I think he's a real asset to the company, and I want him to be part of it. So you want to create some position for him? <laughs> you make it sound so contrived when you put it that way. Well, it is, isn't it? No, I just want him back on the executive board, that's all. Without any power? No, he'd have full voting powers. He just wouldn't be able to, you know, commit the company to anything on his own. Have you run this by, Billy? Yes. Well, I can't. He's out of town. And I don't know for how long. Oh. You don't think he's, uh, drinking, do you? He's with Nadine. Sorry, this must be difficult for you. Look, I'm in a position to get him back on track. What do you think? So what did you say to her? Well, I didn't say anything. She doesn't know that it's Roger. Thank goodness for that. But you are putting me in a terrible position. I'm not asking you to lie. But what if she asked me point blank? Well, I guess if it gets that far, it will be too late. Listen to you. Hey, I happen to like Alexandra. I, I'm marrying her nephew. I know. I'm sorry. Well, sorry doesn't help. And you deserve something better. And I'll have it. With Roger. <laughs> Mindy, what are you doing? We're going to be married. Sink your teeth into that. Listen, I just want to tell you, I was not trying to lecture you about the business, you know, back in the house. You know, it's your life. you got to do it however you feel is right. That's okay. Just being a big brother, that's well, all. I know, but I felt like afterwards maybe I you know, had said too much. No. Um, yeah, it's just that I haven't seen you a lot, and now I'm leaving again. Oh, no, no. See, so you're not leaving forever. Well, I know that, but I, I, still, I don't want to have any kind of bad feelings. We won't. We won't. Okay. Well, I tell you, though, you, you can give me back uh, my baseball man. What? The, Ur the Ernie Banks man. Mm -hmm. I love it. You did not say to me that I could have that mitt. I never you said gave that. me no, that no. mitt. I, I said, you Bob, do this no. with everything you, we have ever no. had. You, I gave it to you and you said, you gave it back to me, and now you're acting like... No, I owe you. I'm some. sorry. You, I said borrow, and that's it. That's just you're not said borrow. borrow. I want something to eat. You know, you have a knack for making things happen. I have a really good feeling about this. Yeah. You want some coffee? Sure. Regular? Coffee, regular. Smoking like a true New Yorker? I thought that was just diner talk. I'll uh, take my black. Now, can you do me a favor? Well, tell Mindy and Harley I'm ready to discuss this. You got it. Try that. Let's get that cup. He's ready for you. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, nope. 
Okay, this is what I've decided. I saw you talking to Daniel earlier. Is everything okay? Yeah, just going over some equipment he needs for Sam's operation. I really admire him. <laughs> it wasn't too long ago that you thought he was a tad arrogant. I still do, but there's a good, a good caring man there. I hear he had a rather rough time. Yeah, it's only going to make him a better doctor if that's possible. Well, yeah, now that's your doing. Listen, this is your night on the town. No more doctor talk and no more hospital talk. Is there something else? I miss you so much. <laughs> I won't be gone that long, but I bet you that bed does get a little bit big and lonely. I am lonely in a crowd when you're not around. Absence makes the heart. Oh, please. I'm not, my heart isn't going to grow any fonder by shipping you off to Flint. Now, wh listen, why can't your niece help her mother out during her pregnancy? Oh, I don't know. Bridget is a wild kid. Well, Bridget is not a little kid anymore. Sean sounded so strange on the phone. Oh, come on. I'm joking. I mean, he's your brother. There's no way you could have said no. I don't know. There's something going on in that family. And I'm going to go out there and find out what it is. Get whatever my pretty wants. <laughs> Silly. Mm. May I help you folks? Yeah, I want you to know something. Did you looking at Lady Luck here in the flesh? <laughs> uh, big night tonight. Oh, well, yeah, you might say that. Now, I only want to see the genuine best stuff that you got. <laughs> Were you looking for anything in particular? Bracelets, well, uh, swings? I like them. Yeah, and I want something that's a long and full of diamonds that can hang from her ear and maybe something for around her neck and her wrist, and I want something right along her <laughs> tummy here with a big oh, old... Billy. Thing. <laughs> Look at these. They're so oh. beautiful. Oh, they're so expensive. Yeah, well, you know, oh, well, it don't make no difference. Hey, Billy Lewis give his word it's as good as gold, and I'm not talking about <laughs> fool's gold either. Um, sir, I can wait, assure wait, wait, you... Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you don't think that I'm like the rest of them, do you? What? What? Who, Bill? Well, I mean, like Josh and H.B. and Vanessa, you know, a bunch of lip service and they don't do anything. No, Bill, of course not. You and I were different. You don't, you don't want to stab me in the back and just take my company, do you? Billy, I don't want your company, and I don't want your money. Oh, yeah. I just want you. That's why my baby's standing here with me tonight. <laughs> Billy, I love you. I love you. Come on! <laughs> you! Can have anything that you want. Anything? Anything? Well, what do you think? Do you think Billy's gonna like it? Reinstating him to the company and giving him some say in policy matters. I know. I just hope he sees it that way. It's a generous offer. You're sticking your neck out for him. Hopefully when he gets back, he'll have a better perspective. Hello, Hello Henry. Ross. Hello, Daddy. Huh. Are you ready to go? Well, actually, I have another stop to make. Uh, would you mind if I took the car, darling? I can drive you home. Oh. Oh, oh, good. Well, good night, my friend. All right, good night. I'll be right back. You have a habit of walking away from me and after you accuse me of something like that. Accuse you of what? Of going through the motions. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm insincere? No, Holly, I don't know what's going on between you and your daughter. No, obviously you think you do. No, I don't. Now, look, I've made this proposal to you. Are you going to consider it? Hi. 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 Yes. I thought about the proposal, I'll think about it some more, and I'll get back to you. Now, excuse us, we're on our way out. Good night. Good night. Bye. So, what do you say? You want to go out dancing after this? Sure, if you want. Go to a late movie. Sounds great. Well, so you tell me, you know. Oh, I don't know. No, no, you, 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 you choose. Of course, we could be home. Bed. Mr. Bauer. 
Oh, what does this mean we're getting old? Well, that depends on what you had in mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're trying to seduce me. Well, I'm doing the best I can. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're up pretty late tonight. My dad promised if I did good, I mean well, my report card, he would let me stay up late. I know he's very proud of you. He talks about you all the time. Talks a lot about you, too. Does he? Even tonight, he told Michelle's mother he loves you. <laughs> and I hope you're being very well taken care of. How could I do better? I'm surrounded by reed men. Bobby. She's good. You're right. You have a lot of raw talent. But I'm turning you down. What? Mindy, you only have one solid design. If you'd brought me the whole portfolio, sat down in a regular meeting, it still would not have been enough. Just because one of my employees got greedy does not change that. So that's it? I see a lot of potential, but you're not there yet. Well, that's your opinion. Mindy. Mindy. He's Matt Weiss. This business is brutal. You've got to have staying power, or they'll chew you right up. I like you, so I'm going to give you some advice. Do three basic designs. Live with them. Agonize over them. What do you think I've been No, no, no. When you're finally satisfied, build them. And don't open your own store. Rely on word of mouth. When you sell those three, build six more. And then six more after that, until you eat, sleep, and dream design. And when you reach that point... Oh, that could take years. Mindy, we're in this business for the long haul. You don't want to be some flash in the pan. So when you're ready, Really ready. You call me. Okay. Okay, it's a deal. Now, well, that's a call I look forward to. Now, I have a plane to catch. Bye, Minnie. Remember what I said. Huh? What can I say? It's been... It's been real. Bye-bye. Great. We're right back where we started. <laughs> All right. Good luck with the apartments. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Bye. Right, right. right, so I'll uh, see you later. Just my knees. Uh, no, my just my wife. knees. Get off my wheel. <laughs> you out of here? Yep. Keep it. Frank, thanks. Right, thank you. Yeah, I could swear I've seen you before in New York. Yeah, it's bugging me because I have a good memory for faces. Yeah, well, so do I. We never met. No, no, I, in the newspaper, on TV. You got me mixed up with someone else. Yeah, uh, maybe. Well, I'm out of here. It's been great having you guys here tonight. I'm glad to see you, it's okay? It's Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, man, look like this guy's seen enough action for one night. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and take him home? I'll close up, okay? Oh, uh, thanks, partner. You got it. Come on, buckaroo, let's button it up and head for the corral. You're pretty good at this dad stuff. Well, he's a pretty good kid. Gave up an awful lot to let you to be with him. A career as an international journalist. <laughs> there was no choice. When you love somebody, the choice is made for you.
I thought you were mad at me. I was. Play some more. I thought you wanted me to talk. I think I finally figured it out. This is how you talk. <laughs> I just have to learn how to listen. And you certainly did your part. Well, look at it this way. When you really get the ball rolling, you'll have a built-in connection. You know, I think he'd be lucky to have your stuff. Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> and I guess you were right about how to handle him. Yeah. So now you've really got something to shoot for. You're right. I gotta go. See ya. Okay. Looking for an apartment? Yeah, living in Chelsea's is a temporary thing. I do not want to take up any more time with Ed and Maureen. This mm. is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? What, what's wrong? There's no um, takeout Chinese in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Well, this one's really good over here. No, 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 no. You can't get dry cleaning done there. <laughs> You're very good at this. No, well, thank you very much. You should let somebody help you with this who is good at it. You know, I've got some free time tomorrow. Okay. Okay, uh, just don't expect commission. <laughs> All right? Okay. Well, your honest opinion. The view. It's a very good rule. Uh, excuse me. I said you looked familiar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you live in New York, everybody looks familiar. money there already. Yeah, I know, but this would be just enough to stake me back to all that I lost at Lewis Oil. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, baby? I hope so. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? I'm losing you. To who? To Vanessa. Oh, darling, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I already told you that, didn't I? Yes. Okay. Come on now, lighten up. You know I want you to buy something in that jewelry store and make you happy. Oh, honey, I didn't want anything like what that. What the hell? Now you must have wanted something. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Let's go. Come on, you old dice. Seven or eleven, send Mama to heaven. Yeah, you hit this one. Come on. Come on. 